Um, the new exam, 002, there are the same number of exam objectives with similar titles. There's also It also has the same purpose as the old exam and the same audience as the old exam. Uh, there's fewer objectives in the new one, 21 versus 24. And that's due to the consolidation of objectives, which we were able to do to improve instructional design and merge similar topics. And that actually occurs as the job role matures. 80% of the topics are similar, but 20% were updated to include a lot of the changes I've talked about. Expanded techniques for pen testing web apps, cloud, and hybrid environments. And don't forget, you know, IoT and embedded devices as well. There's an emphasis on demonstrating an ethical hacking mindset given various scenarios. There's more focus on vulnerability scanning. So this focus on vulnerabilities um, for instance, we renamed um, vulnerability identification to vulnerability scanning to emphasize hands-on scanning skills. In fact, if you look at the new objectives, you're going to notice there's a lot of, given a scenario, do this. It's almost like the new exam is based on the hands-on skills and then provides the explanation around those hands-on skills. It could be said that in the past, the objectives were more based around the knowledge with then the hands-on skills added to them. Now it's the other way around. It's the hands-on skills with the explanations around them. I think this is very important for cybersecurity because we need to consider, you know, the tasks at hand. It's like being a, in, in, in sports, you know, you're not going to become a great left wing in soccer if you're not practicing all the time. And that requires you to physically get out there and run. Um, there's more focus on code analysis. The previous Domain 4 pen testing tools was renamed and reordered to Domain 5 Tools and Code Analysis. And this was to emphasize that growing need to identify and analyze code during a pen test. And also regarding this, code development is not required if you are uh, you're taking Pen Test Plus um, and you're at the beginner intermediate level of pen testing. Um, I have wrote a blog on that as well, and so I'm going to um, to get that uh, up here. So it's what scripting and code analysis skills uh, do pen testers need? Yeah, I had a question about that because when we did our Security Plus webinar, I believe, I think you said something like 40% of um, people taking that were kind of in the developer track. Correct me if I'm yeah, wrong. yeah, software um, developers are taking Security Plus because they want to learn how to harden systems because then they can develop software to run on those systems securely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just, you know, now you mentioned that this exam is also shifting towards that code analysis a little bit more than maybe the first version. So obviously yes. you said, you know, you don't need to know how to code, but I guess in my mind, just from these multiple webinars I've done with you, it, it feels like that's Hopefully. definitely a benefit knowing knowing how to code for sure. Yeah, and if you want to do something, I suggest Python, going in and learning Python if you want to learn one. I certainly advise, if you can take like a Python, you know, basics course, if you can take a Linux basics course, it will only help you with pen testing. Because most of the pen testing apps, I mean, once you open the app, you're in the world of the app and its commands. But, you know, you just have to be able to open the app um, for this training. Uh, so you, you should make definitely make sure you know enough Linux so that you can you know find your way around in Ubuntu or Mint or or whatever version you are using. Okay, a lot of people are using a uh, Security Onion, um, as well as um, well. I know that we have used a lot in the past uh, Kali Kali Linux. Okay, so anyway, if you look here at the exam domains, they're very similar. The only thing that changed really is five and four switched to the new version, and we added the code analysis title, and we moved identification to hands-on scanning. 